Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the pillar drill uh, to draw a series of holes. Uh, first thing I've done here is I've got a bit of wood and I've marked it out using crisscross lines and then marked more heavily where I'm going to drill my holes. Ideally this should be with a sharp pencil for accuracy. Right, when you come to use the pillar drill um, we have a rotating chuck. The first thing we need to do is attach our drill bit. Um, the way this works is you slide it in, holding the top, you then turn the bottom in a clockwise motion and that's secure. That will not come out then. Um, then I need to check the height of this, this bed, this table. Now at the moment it's not secure. To lock it off I need to tighten this down here. So if I lower the drill bit using this handle here, you can see that at the moment it would hit the metal. I don't want to do that. So just to be safe, if you turn this handle here, you can go down or you can go up. I need to lower the table and check it again. Right now I'm not hitting the metal, so that's better. So that is what I want. That's about right. I'm going to then lock this off around the back so that will not move. Now, I don't want to drill straight into my piece of wood um, without scrap underneath. Because what happens is the drill bit comes through, it's going to burst, uh, burst through and create a hole. Um, so I'm going to attach a bit of scrap underneath, okay, and then place my wood there. Um, before I drill, I just turn the handle to bring it down, get it lined up with the spot, make sure I'm happy with that, then hold it securely with my hand, and the green button turns it on. If I don't want to hold it with just my hand, if I want to be safer and more secure, I can just get a clamp and attach this underneath. That is the safest and most accurate way of doing it. If I just get that lined up. Okay, I'm very happy with that location. Goggles on at this point, making sure I've got no loose clothing. Got my apron on. The green is on, red is off, and there's an emergency stop button down on the floor. So I'll turn it on. Bring it down into the material, all the way through to the scrap. I've noticed the sawdust change colour, and then lift it up before turning it off. Now I can unscrew it and inspect my work. Okay, that's how you use a pillar drill.